in a position I am major in Nigerian army. And I hate, I said it again, I hate when people are gathering against people. Do you know that after the president spoke last time, I don't want to say much things about this, but I was, I was terrified the way he addressed the country. Not as a president, a fool. The life that had been wasted is nothing before him. Do you listen to him also, what he said? He said a lot of things. I want you to be aware that he is planning big. He is planning big, something big that can swallow the life of people. That man, don't, this president don't care about the life of Nigerians as a citizen. Don't say you are a citizen, that you are, you are, you are belong to Nigeria, that nothing will happen to you. You are lying. Your life is in danger because your presence is a terrorist. Your presence is a terrorist. I'm telling you this now, especially the Igbo brothers. You Igbo brothers, I'm telling you right now. Don't say I'm a Calabar. I'm a Rivers. I'm a Joe. I'm, uh, uh, I'm Delta. I'm this. I'm that. No. The time I serve in the in, in the north, not people know us all as the evils. Not and know you all as evils. Not and don't say that you hey hey, you are not evil. You are Yoruba. Uh, uh, sorry, you are rivers. You are Calabar. You are this. They don't know that. They know you. All of you is evils. So when slaughter and coming, it's coming to you all. So if you have sense and if you have brain, I'm telling you now, 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 I'm at Abuja. I'm telling you now, at Abuja. I'm telling you now, be careful. Earlier you wake up and work together, is earlier is better for you, because what is coming to you. Is bigger than what you will stand. The whole military is coming. The president, you are president. I won't call him my president, though I'm serving under him, but I won't call him my president. He is plotting big. He's plotting big. Do you know that when the Northerns are making meeting in the in in in, 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 in let me say in oh I, I I don't want to say something big about these spots. I just want to leak you a small information. Earlier you work together. Earlier is better for you. But I always tell some of them that listen to me, some of my fellow soldiers that listen to me, that even if war happens, we are going back to our regions. I'm not an Igbo man, but I'm telling you that we have regions. Whether you like it or not, they call us Igbos. They don't say we are rivers you are calabas you are debtors they call all of us ebos yorubas call us ebos the yorubas don't say you are calabas you are this they are not Igbo. they call all of us ebos so be careful don't say you are not Igbo. because when it happen it happen it will fall on your head by then you don't have ground to stand your children is there wasting your families is there wasting work together work together we are in a military, we have our own plans here in a military. When it happened, the Nigerian military will know that we can't sit down, sit back, and watch our family slaughtered. That is why we remain here. We cannot watch our family slaughtered. We cannot watch them. Say we are serving them under them. They are busy slaughtering. We are serving them. We can't do that. We know the right thing to do. Do your part. We will do our part in a military. When he said, they will see us in a heavy weight. When they are doing their meetings, plans, when you are evil, they will never call you. When you are Calabar, they will never call you to come and join for the meeting because they know what they are planning. They will never let you know. Your doctor, they will never let you know. I have a full information about this. Be careful because the, this message Take it real, take it serious, it concerns you.
Warn them, if you have a brother, tell him dress normally. Instead of that, put on tie, put on suit. Come out, go to your work, do your mechanic job with suits. It's better because they are looking for regular people. They think they can go to, you know, carry some guns or what. I don't know. But I'm telling you this information as intelligent officer. If you like, take it. If you like, leave it. This is what is coming up. Expect this before ending of this season. They are planning big. Check out for now to three months coming. Use this opportunity. Make it wise. Make it work. Make it real. Come together. Please. Please, I'm begging you guys. Because this thing, Nigerians government and the Buhari himself, your president, is not planning for war. He's planning for assassination. Assassinate. He wants to assassinate you people one by one. One by one. He's not ready for war. He knows that he, no country will support him war. No, but no country will support him. To come and support him, bring ammunition, bring this, or bring machineries. No country is ready for that. Now he wants to use it as assassination. If you take some 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 group of people, if you arrest you, you think no, I'm going to uh, I'll, I'll be released. You are not going to release. If a non government attack this police station, they will take like five or six people and they will shoot them dead and they will line them down and say that they are a non government. That is their plans. They have been started this, they'll be doing it. They will kill innocent people they have already arrested they will kill them they will line them up put gun ak for seven on them put uh, uh, ammo on them and say no these people they are the bandit they are the unknown government they are this they are that they give them names they are lying that is not the issue the issue is that these people have already planned this right from time that they will use it as opportunity as assassinate every individual of you work together stay away from them when you see them please don't allow this arrest to happen don't allow it to happen call your royal highnesses call them together don't allow this arrest to happen you royal highness hear this message call your people call your vigilante not allow this thing to happen you are the only ones that will stop it you royal highnesses, you are the only one that will stop it. No government will stop it. No help, no police will stop them. It's only royal highness. When you get there, you gather your vigilante, tell them to stop it. They will stop. They will listen to you. I'm being frank with you. You royal highness, this message is mostly for you. They will listen to you. Please share this message to everyone to listen to this message. It will help protect the life of the Igbos, every nation. Please.